Okay, everybody, this video is going to be a little different. There's going to be silence in the beginning, and I'll explain why in a few seconds. Okay, this is the third time I've tried to record this, and for some reason, my tablet will not record for 30 seconds of the sound. So anyway, that was what that was for. Um, before I go on to the video, I want to show you guys some fails that I have, just so everybody feels normal. Um, a couple of fails I tried to, a couple of projects I tried to do. I saw Jen Evers and uh, Jennifer McGuire do this technique where they put um, sticky or sequang tape or some kind of sticky back on behind a die and put glitter on it but I failed I mean down here it looks bad so that's getting thrown I get thrown to the floor then I tried to do a crayon resist here down here it looks horrible this I have no clue what I was doing here I really I don't this I was trying to um, put some color on I have <laughs> Honestly, I don't even know what I was doing, so that's that's gone. But um, this video is for Jen Evers. She requested this video on how to do this background paper. And Jen, I apologize for not being able to get it to you sooner. Last month was hectic. Um, my daughter graduated high school. I celebrated my 24th wedding anniversary. I turned 51. Hoo-hoo. 50 is the new 30. Just remember. Um, so it was hectic. And I had family in town, so it was really hectic. Anyway. It's July. We're going to do this. I'm going to get it out, and hopefully there's no problem with the sound from this point on. Okay, so first of all, you're going to need some ink. Um, you're going to need gelatos. I have silver and black, and this ink is from close to my heart, close to the heart, and it's petal, the really pretty color. Water and a paintbrush, okay? And I am using Stampin' Up! Glossy Cardstock. That's what I'm using here. And I'm going to use this as a background. I'm going to do the whole thing, and then I'm going to use this as a background on a card like that. Okay? So what you want to do is take your ink and open it up. Okay? And there's no rhyme or reason to this. You just put it on how you want. Um, you can, you know, put it on, you know, smudgy. Oh, I went the wrong way. But try to keep it all in one motion. And that's what I've so far. That's what I have. Okay. So if you want more, you can always add more later uh, when you kind of go back and take a look at what what you're doing or how it looks. Okay. So then I'm going to get my silver gelato and I'm just going to rub it on. Okay. Rub it on here haphazardly. Okay. And then put some black. Okay, just kind of play with it. Then you get your paintbrush and you put in your water. Okay. And then you just mix it or you know, just kind of move that around with your paintbrush. Oh, I like that. I dropped a little bit of water on that and that looks really good. And uh, I always forget to go to the ends of the paper, so to make it look like it's part of another paper, go to the ends, and it'll look a lot nicer. I always have little puddles on the end of my paper, and it looks like I just did one page, which I did, or part of a page. See, that's what we have so far. And if you want more black, uh, let me get a paper towel. Okay, so let's put a little bit more black in there. I really want to contrast here. So, I've tried this with uh, the last one I did with um, paper from um, the dollar store. The, the see, and I want it more contrast. There you are. 
and that's it. So it's that easy, it's that simple. If you have some gelatos, and I know you do, Jen, because I've, I've seen your video, um, you can do this. You can either heat set it or um, let it dry on its own. Um, I wish it would dry flat. It has a tendency not to dry flat, but um, I think once you put your glue on there, your, your ATG glue, I think it, it comes out all right. So I'm going to use this in a project, and I'll do that in a later video when I can figure out what the heck is wrong with my tablet. What I have to do is just go to a, a, a camera, but I'm so technologically challenged that I always have to have my kids show me what to do, but I really need to do it. I have a camera, but I just, uh, I don't know. I You know, technology, it scares me. Anyway, hope you like this. If you have any more questions, uh, let me know, and I will be back with another video using this in a card. Thanks. Bye.